<clears throat> Do you guys know what homocysteine is? So homocysteine is a couple of things. Um, it is a marker for methylation. So and so it can be it can tell us a little bit of information on how your body's processing certain of the B vitamins, like for example B12, folate, B6, B2 are common ones that can affect the homocysteine. But homocysteine is so much more than that. Um, if it's elevated, it, it it is a signal that there's inflammation going on. And also if it's elevated, it's an increased risk factor for cardiovascular disease specific to clotting events. So these would include things like DVTs, deep vein thrombosis, right? Um, heart attacks and strokes and whatnot. Um, the normal homocysteine level is below 12. Uh, but if someone has cardiovascular risks, risk factors, then they definitely want the homocysteine below 10. So uh, between about eight and 10 is where we're looking to have homocysteine levels. And if the person's B vitamins uh, status is optimal, and that, but the homocysteine is not, then we start looking at other factors in the methylation pathway. That person may need to, for example, supplement with some choline. They may need to supplement with you know, N-acetylcysteine and so on. So sometimes it's not as easy as giving B vitamins to get that homocysteine level down.